What's up, everybody? Welcome to the weekly rotation series. I'm Nate. Um, I want to, before I jump into the weekly rotation, I wanted to touch a little bit on some of the perfumery stuff that I've been doing. If you want to skip ahead, if you don't want to hear me talk about making perfume, then the time code will be right here. So moving forward with uh, the whole perfumery thing, I got to making a big batch of uh, my fragrance that I'm calling Neptune's Crown. If you wanted to go check out the mock-up um, on my website, paragonfragrances.com, you can, or paragonfragrance.com, you can go check it out. I got like a mock-up, the notes up there and stuff. I'll have the link down in the description down below. In terms of creating this, I'm really excited about it. Uh, I was actually mixing it together a few days ago and, um, you know, I've been putting together a little sample size, like uh, the most I've ever produced at one time was like five grams because it was five grams of just like a trial batches, trial batches after trial batches. And you just use small, small amounts. So going from five grams to almost 800 grams of raw perfume concentrate is quite scary. I messed up once, I overdosed the um, uh, the clear wood, which is a clean patchouli kind of smell. But luckily I had a, a, a workflow where I could catch a mistake if I made it. So I just overdosed it by like three grams and then I just had a, it was all contaminated. So I just had to restart that little section. Um, but what I would do is use a beaker, fill that with uh, like three or four materials and then pour it into the jug. Um, so this is raw perfume concentrate. This is not diluted with alcohol yet. So I'm gonna take some of this, put it into another thousand milligram or a thousand milliliter bottle like this. And so take 25% of this, put it into another thousand milligram, uh, milliliter uh, bottle and then fill up uh, that bottle with alcohol, giving me my like 25% oil concentration final perfume. I'm really excited about it. There's one thing that I'm really kind of struggling with and it's the color. It looks like piss. It looks like a, a pissy uh, yellow color. And uh, so I'm trying to get that fixed. I'm trying to get, I ordered some colorant, some like brown colorant to make it a little bit more richer. Uh, the problem is, is I'm using a lot of natural ingredients. The one uh, ingredient that's really dark is my green mandarin oil. The green mandarin oil is super green, almost to the point where it's brown. So it's it's making the it's making the fragrance uh, have this like cloudy green color. So I'm just trying to fix that. I know I could probably buy like a synthetic to switch out with the green mandarin and some of the other ingredients in there to make it clear to make it a uh, fresh like because here's a great example dior ohm uh cologne it's a little cloudy you could see it it has a little bit of cloudy aspects it's not overly uh tinged in any different way so that's a good example of it and they're using some naturals but um you know it's all distilled down and stuff anyway i'm working through it but a lot of naturals make up that formula so it's it's giving off this like um, brownish, greenish, pissy color. Doesn't smell like piss. Unless you're a hater, then yes, it smells like piss. I'm excited about it. It should be launching, hopefully, by the end of the year. I'm really hoping for a good solid release. Uh, I think my caps are gonna be the only downside to the release that I'm not really confident about, but I've put so much money into it that I'm thinking about, I don't know, I'm gonna get you guys' opinion on it, but it's just like the company that I'm ordering my bottles from and my atomizers, their caps are not all that great. Um, so I'm, I'm hoping, and I've already ordered so much, that just the caps, the caps alone. So I wanna move over to magnetic caps as soon as possible, um, but I think that's gonna have to wait until my fragrances kind of like pick up some traction and I can reinvest the money because it's just so much money. It's like $6 per atomizer and magnetic cap, $6 per just that. So it's insane. That's if you guys like it. If, if it's trash, if it's a trash fragrance, who knows? I might not even produce anymore. I might just hit the retire button and call it quits. I don't want to deliver trash. Anyway, jumping into the weekly rotation, you probably saw I wore 
Kayed Alfersan, get these names confused, the horsey bottle. This is good. It's very sweet pineapple woody smell. Very nice. It's uh, it's almost like a Creed Aventus. Mixes with a lot of ethyl maltol, a lot of sweetness, I should say, a lot of sugary sweet pineapple, um, and woody, and woody too. It's good. It's like a everyday kind of smell. Um, I find that the oud in here, the back black argo wood, is just very nice. Provides a lot of woody depth to it. It's nice. It is really nice. It's not something that I would jump over the moon for, but I like it. I like it a lot. It does the trick really nicely. This is Cayed Alfersan by Latafa, and it's a good pickup, especially for the price. The price of it is exceptional. It's a right around like 20 or 14 to 20 dollars in that ballpark. If you get it at a good discounter, excellent deal. Dearom Cologne is, uh, so I wore a couple of fragrances like throughout the week, uh, just for like throwing on to bed or like I was just running to the grocery store sometimes. Dearom Cologne was one of them and then the other one was Intoxicate. I love wearing this this kind of DNA to bed. It's so relaxing, it's like cinnamony, it's apple, it's sweet, it's kind of got a liquor accord in here. It smells like the holidays, a rich, cocktail whiskey with just an apple sexy nuance and excellent stuff here really good stuff and then on tuesday i wore one of the best fragrances of all time ysly eau de parfum this is a great smelling fragrance this is good for everyday use going to the mall going to the shipping market where you buy fish and then going camping with the grizzly bear. This is great and work in any occasion. If you're a UPS driver and you're delivering to this would be a great fragrance for you too. Well, I don't, we don't look like UPS drivers. On Wednesday, I wore this Prada Carbon Beautifulness Sauvage, pretty much beautiful lavender. This is not like a medicinal, not like a uh, back rub kind of lavender, but this is like a a fresh, inviting lavender. Something fresh, clean, well-processed, chemical sludge lavender. Prada Carbon is one of the best fragrances of all time. I really think so. I mean, it is kind of like considered a clone, slightly. The main aspect of it is just Dior Sauvage. Smoothed out, refined, beautified. Absolutely fantastic. Really, really, truly is. I get so many compliments from that thing because it just carries through the air and it penetrates nostrils. It's good stuff. All right, then on Thursday, I wore this masterpiece. Oh, it's not a piece, it's a cheap cologne. Anyway, the original is a masterpiece and everything it's duping, it's good. But this is Amber Eve, I'm getting sidetracked here. This is a benzoin amber, beautiful smell. Amber Eve, you're gonna assume amber's in it, but this is amber, it's got some lavender in there. It's also got like a, oozy nuance just slightly and then it's like a rich vanilla very rich it's really good but the main aspect with it is like that amber benzoin kind of thing with a lavender nuance and vanilla kind of ever so present i do get some kind of like spicy aspects with it it does perform quite nicely i really do enjoy it it's very uh very very nice very iso -y, super heavy um hedione fresh ethylene bracelet as the musk it's really good really really good but it's it's vanilla it's warm sweet vanilla it's very nice on friday i wore the new hype beast this is hawas ice and uh, a lot of raves about this online it's getting a lot of traction and then people review it and they're calling it trash or redundant uh or just a waste of a release this is i'm indifferent about it the freshness of the original hawas is there uh, the cinnamon is kind of toned back a little bit, not too cinnamony. It does have some spicy elements in there. Definitely a spicy, like underlaying uh, situation going on in there. But this one is musk, sweetness, and freshness. Freshness at the top, and then like maybe an hour in, all the citruses kind of die off. They kind of linger around for like maybe two, two-ish hours. But after that, it becomes this bubblegum sweet, musky smell similar to what you would find in Invictus, you know, Invictus the original, Invictus Aqua. It's um, super redundant to have if you have Hawass, the original one, 
but the ice version is super sweet and it projects like a madman. If you had any issues with the performance with Hawass, the original one, you're not gonna have the performance issues with this one. This one is definitely a beast mode when it comes to a freshy scent. Um, very sweet, powerful, and the musk, very, very nice. And it's a clean musk, so it's counteract with a, a lot of sweetness. And then it's got a nice, clean musk, like a laundry musk, habanolide, galaxolide, um, and bretolide. And then there's another one, uh, gabanolide, I think it is, gabanolide, I don't know. Anyway, there's a lot of different fresh musks in here that are providing this like really nice musk to it, but then the sweetness. So it's sweet and musky when it dries down. And it is very sweet. Kind of the same sweetness that you would get with a lot of like mainstream, mainstream designer fragrance releases nowadays with the John Paul Gaultier uh, elixir, the Invictus Victory elixir, Bad Boy, Womo Intense Born in Roma, um, that kind of sweetness. It's very sweet. But it's much more powerful than the original one. If you have Hawass, the original one, and you hate how it performs, maybe pick it up but it's super redundant to have, seriously. They fixed the atomizer though. The atomizer is dope. Bubblegum sweet is all I have to say about it. Saturday, I wore CK1 all. I wasn't really doing much on Saturday, so I just decided to throw on something kind of just easygoing, nice, fresh and relaxing. I just went and got my oil changed and got robbed, you know, cause it was a hundred dollars to get my oil changed. Insane. And then they try to upsell you on this, all, all this other crap, it's like, I went to this company to get my transmission fluid flushed and uh, they flushed the transmission fluid. I went back there two weeks later just to check, just to see what they would do to see if it was like the same people working there. I went back and they're like, uh, you're going to need another transmission or you're going to need a transmission fluid. They didn't even, um, they didn't even mention that they did it before. So they were like, yeah, you need a transmission fluid. Look at the color. And I was like, I literally came here two weeks ago and you guys f***ed me over. Anyway, I took it up with corporate and uh, I'm a Karen, what can I say? And today, uh, this is Sunday, I'm wearing uh, the Savior. This is a Savage clone. This is the day of the, the week of the Savages. Um, and I'm indifferent about this one. I mean, I like, I like Savage. I, I, li I like Savage. I like this one a lot. It's kind of just Savage. I'm not really picking up any differences, but I think it's nice. I, I think I feel like such a grind bag when I'm wearing Sauvage. Whenever I'm wearing Sauvage, I feel like, and Prada Carbon too, I feel like such a douchebag. And then I'm like, love it. Anyway, thanks for watching the video. If you liked the video, make sure you throw a comment down below what your weekly rotation was. I wanna hear what you guys are wearing. Really always impacts me. I'd like to interact with you guys to see what you guys are wearing. Some of you guys are wearing shit, I'm just kidding. You guys are wearing better shit than I am. Son of a b And everybody who's wearing blue electric, I got a clone. This thing came in recently and I am so excited for this. I haven't smelt it yet. I'm saving my first impressions for a video, but this is a clone of blue electric. Since I can't find the original one, I just bought the clone. I'm a dirt bag. It came with an actual pack of cards. It's like not I'm first addicted to fragrances and now you're getting me on a gambling addiction. Thanks fragrance world. Appreciate you. Thanks for watching the video guys. We'll see you next time.